Good afternoon, everyone. Last week, 60% of Lake Erie froze in just two days. This is on February 12th, February 14th. That is an instant quick freeze. During the same time, Ontario City breaking cold records back to 1899. As well, Kitchener breaking the all-time record by 6 degrees Celsius. A rundown of the record cold across the area. Ottawa also sees record snowfall of 51 centimeters in a single day. Previous top 10 snow days in that area. Whiteout conditions. Cars buried. Snow day. No work, no school. Taking a look on the map here, the area in red is in fact where Ontario and Ottawa are located. Glimpse in here of the Great Lakes, notice the two cities in the bottom right corner. Ontario City matching a 116 year old cold record back to 1899. Kitchener also breaks the temperature record set in 1997 which was the coldest of all time with those records going back into the late 1800s but it broke it by 6 degrees Celsius. That's almost 12 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a rundown of all the areas that had record cold. This will also give you a rundown on when the records began, what the new records were, and what the previous record was so you can see how the cold is starting to increase. And I know you'll say, oh, what's well, the warmest winter ever up there? But when you're breaking 100 year plus cold records, there's gotta be something going on. And it wasn't one or two, it was hundreds and hundreds of records in Canada and hundreds and hundreds of records in the United States with snow and cold both. This is a rundown of some of the cities that you might see that I pulled off social media here. Oshawa, Toronto, Coburg. More record-breaking temperatures for you to take a look through Windsor there. Another set the following day, more record temperatures. In Welland, Ontario, 1885 record. Barrie, Ontario, 1879 record. Add on to this, 60% of Lake Erie freezes in a matter of two days. This is something straight out of the day after tomorrow. How do you have an entire Great Lake cover itself with ice? 60% coverage in a weekend. These are the satellite images here, February 12th. Two days later on February 14th. 60% covered. Jumping over to Canadian Ice Service, they do an amazing job of any of the bodies of water around North America and part of the Arctic, as well as the Greenland coast around Nunavut. And of course, when you have grandiose weather patterns coming through and moisture-laden water fronts colliding with cold air masses, record snow with the record cold. Breaking the record back to 1947, but that is as far back as the records go. This is the previous top 10 snowstorms in a single day total that have been experienced in the same exact area from Environment Canada. Let's take a look through some of the images coming across social media of the record snowfall in Ottawa. Cars buried. Look at the road conditions there. White out, people cross country skiing to get around, can't walk. Cars buried up, that is actually a mirror from a vehicle sticking out to the left side there. Snow day across the entire area for actually two full days. No school, no work. Love that image. <laughs> Camel's lost, needs to go back to Egypt or the Sahara. Some more images of the depth here. That was a nice video of the accumulation that was pulled off AMTV. Also more cross-country skiers. That's the only way to get around. I have had people ask me, what would I do to prepare? Get a pair of those skis because when it snows more, that is going to be your mode of transportation to go get supplies out of supermarkets that may still be open. Depths of the snow. Here's another car buried, can't drive anywhere. Run down on the snow totals. All of these areas broke records that day. Wanted to wrap up here. I was asked to do a book review by Lawrence Pierce who wrote A New Little Ice Age Has Started. I thought the book was well written. It covers all the past grand solar minimums, explaining what will happen during this solar minimum. And what I found really great about it, it was such a hopeful message that if you are prepared, you are going to survive. And it will bring people together. It's a time to prosper during this era. 
And it just, you know, I had to feel good to the end of it instead of being just doom and gloom. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. It's kind of rare to see an entire Great Lake freeze to over 50% of itself in a single two-day period. And I will ask you, please help me share this around your social media to get some more eyes on what's happening now the second full year of the Grand Solar Minimum that will run until 2035.